Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my recipe for a very quick and simple fried pumpkin recipe. For anybody who's not too familiar with this dish, it is basically pumpkin or any type of hard orange squash that's fried down or sauteed with different seasonings and spices. Now this is a dish that is best accompanied with some oil roti or sada roti as you guys see I have here, but some people also enjoy this with rice. Now I'm going to make it vegetarian slash vegan today for anybody who is tired of eating meat during this time being stuck at home or for my vegetarian and vegan subscribers out there. Now I also wanted to mention that this pumpkin that I'm using today is the one that I shared with you guys in a previous video where I showed you guys how to chop up the pumpkin, wash it, and then freeze it. I know during quarantine a lot of us were not able to get out to the grocery store to buy a whole bunch of fresh vegetables, so I wanted to share with you guys some ways to go ahead and prep these vegetables, put them in the freezer, and so I'm going to be using my frozen pumpkin today to put together this dish. I'm going to be very honest, having that pumpkin frozen and washed already was just amazing because it took about half the time to put this dish together, just being that I didn't have to peel and chop any pumpkin. So I hope you guys enjoy this quick and simple recipe. Get your roti or your rice ready because this pumpkin is going to be delicious. The ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe are very minimal. So what I'm basically going to do is start off in a heavy bottom pot. I'm going to go in with some oil and as you guys can see I'm using olive oil today. If you wanted to you could use any other light tasting oil that you want. I know some people may even use coconut oil to make this and you can feel free to do that as well. And once you add in that oil and you let it heat up just a little bit, you're going to go in with some sliced onions. And as soon as you add those onions in and you mix them into the oil, you're going to go in with a little bit of roasted ground cumin. And once you allow those onions to fry up or saute for maybe about two minutes and get a little soft, you're gonna go in with some chopped pimento peppers, a little bit of shadow benny, also known as culantro, some chopped garlic, as well as some chopped scallions. Now, the pimento peppers and the culantro are 100% optional. These are just items that I usually put in my homemade green seasoning, that's why I decided to add them in. But if you wanted to, you can swap them out for any other types of herbs that you like in your fried pumpkin or you could use your own homemade green seasoning for that step. Once all of those ingredients have a chance to saute really well for maybe about four to five minutes, you're gonna go in with all of your chopped pumpkin. Remember, this is the pumpkin that I had frozen already, so all you have to do is take it right out of the freezer and add it into your pot frozen. There's no need to go ahead and defrost it or anything like that. And of course, if you were using fresh pumpkin that was not frozen, you could just wash it and add it in right here and at this point, I'm going to start to season my pumpkin and build up some more flavors. So what I'm going to do is add in some salt. And remember, we are adding salt to taste. So go in with as much or as little as you want. And then on top of that, you're also going to go in with a little bit of black pepper. Once that black pepper is added in, you're going to go ahead and stir all of this up really well. You're going to lower the heat to about a medium, medium low heat, and you're going to cover it and allow it to simmer until all of the pumpkin is nice and tender. So this is what my pumpkin and all of those seasonings look like after cooking for about 15 minutes. As you guys can see, the pumpkin has softened up really well, but this is not done cooking yet. I like for the pumpkin to be very properly disintegrated and nice and mushy. And for any of my Guyanese and Trini folks, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When it's fully melted down, that's the best way to go ahead and scoop it up with your roti. So I'm going to cover it again and allow it to cook some more. So at this point, I'm checking my pumpkin again and my pumpkin's been cooking for exactly 30 minutes. Now depending on the type of pumpkin or squash that you use, it'll take more or less time. Once your pumpkin is done cooking and you see that it's disintegrated as per your own preference, you're going to go in with some freshly chopped hot pepper as well as some freshly chopped scallions. Now by adding the pepper in at the end of the dish versus in the beginning, it's going to give that very fresh peppery flavor. By all means, if you want to reduce the spice a little bit, you could go ahead and add it in the beginning so this way it could cook out. Now once you add in those scallions and the hot pepper, you may also want to go in with a little bit of sugar to taste. I just go in with a little bit because sometimes the pumpkin I have isn't that sweet and you need the sugar to balance out all of the other flavors. Now I'm also going to go in with a little bit more salt and pepper because I gave it a taste and I think that it does need a little bit more. Just remember, as whenever you're cooking any dish, you want to taste as you go, so this way you get the flavors right that you and your family likes. So my pumpkin is all done. It is ready to serve. I have my hot sada roti ready to sop it up with. Again, if you want to go ahead and eat it with oil roti or on top of a mound of rice, feel free to do so as well. Pumpkin also goes really well with other vegetarian dishes as well as roti or rice. So I'm going to go ahead and dig into this. If you enjoyed this quick and simple pumpkin recipe, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet. Remember when you click that little bell notification icon, you are notified every time I post my newest videos. And of course, keep leaving your amazing comments. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. And I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video.